turn on the Kairos controller using the button on the right-hand side of the device. The controller will boot up and detect connected drives, and a list of available axes will appear. If the devices are not detected, check cable connections and the settings. Press the settings button and confirm that the correct connection type is applied. We're using a direct link over Hetbus cable, which we recommend for the first run. Press the enter button on the joystick to apply changes. On the drives list, choose the suitable calibration method. Calibration is a process of setting safety limits for the drive. If the drive is not calibrated, it won't operate. For the slider drive, you can choose automatic calibration. The bullhead remote head has no end stops, therefore cannot be calibrated automatically. Choose continue to execute calibration. The controller will now calibrate the slider's drive automatically, according to previous settings. It will gently bounce off both side brackets to detect its operating range. In the next step, perform manual calibration for selected drives. To do so, move all the axes to one of the extreme positions you don't want to be exceeded. Do that for all axes. Confirm by pressing Enter. Repeat this step for the other extreme positions of all drives and confirm. Your drives are calibrated and ready to operate. The controller automatically switches to live control mode. Each axis has a corresponding axis section. The first is the slider, the pan, and the tilt. Press the set button in the corresponding section to enter the settings of a particular drive. In the axis settings menu, you can recalibrate the drive. You can use automatic, manual and basing modes. The basing mode is useful when the drive was previously calibrated. It will detect only one side bracket and restore the range from the previous calibration. This is very useful for long sliders or for reusing previously stored presets, as it will ensure that the range will be exactly the same as before. During live mode, you can adjust the settings of each axis. Each axis section has ramp and speed settings. You can limit the speed of the drive by dialing the speed knob. You'll see the actual value on the screen. Now, even though the sliders knob is fully rotated, the speed is limited to the designated value. You can alter the acceleration of each axis. For example, setting a low value on the ramp knob will make the drive accelerate faster. Conversely, increasing the value will cause it to accelerate slowly, creating smooth starts and stops. Pan and tilt axes have similar settings. The speed of the head axis can be reduced or increased separately. Increasing ramp values will increase smoothness, but decrease the responsiveness of the remote head. The Kairos panel has eight memory banks. Hold the button to enter the settings menu of a bank. Each slot can store a keyframe, trajectory or track recording. To set a keyframe, select New Keyframe and press Enter. Next, set a desired position using your controller and accept by pressing enter button on your joystick. If you change the position of your head, you can restore previously saved keyframe by pressing the corresponding button. All available axes will move in sync using their ramp settings, slowing the faster axes to the slowest one to keep them in sync. If you change the settings, they will be applied the next time you recall the preset. To program a motion between two points in a memory bank, go to the setting and choose New Trajectory. Move your camera to a starting point and confirm by pressing Enter. Next, move the camera to the desired ending point and also confirm by pressing the Enter button. When you press the button to restore the trajectory, the camera will move to the starting position and wait for your command to start. You can play it back by pressing Enter or the Memory Bank button. To record a motion performed using a joystick and knobs, choose New Track Record from the Memory Bank menu. When you start the recording, every action you'll make will be stored in the controller's memory.
Press the enter button to stop recording. Recalling the preset will replay all your movements precisely how you performed them. When you recall the preset from a memory bank, the axis settings knobs are inactive during playback. Use the knob on the left-hand side of the controller to change the speed of the playback. You'll see the changing values on the screen. This allows you to scale the duration of the motion to match your preferences. You can change the speed during the playback. The values on the screen will change accordingly. The Kairos controller can track a subject by rotating the panorama axis according to the slider's position. To enable this feature, enter the panorama axis settings and choose parallax. Set the axis you want to control the panorama axis. Usually, you'll have only your slider on the list. Select set 0 to configure the relationship between the slider and the head. You'll have to do it only once per session. Rotate the camera to set the lens parallel to the slider. You can use the camera preview to match the middle of the end bracket with the center of the frame. Choose Set Target from the menu to select the subject. Adjust the camera to keep the object in the frame. For best results, move the slider's cart to one side of the slider. Press Enter to store the first position and move the cart to the opposite side of the slider. Correct the framing to keep the object in the frame and confirm by pressing Enter. The parallax feature is configured properly if all settings are checked. In the Axis Settings menu, you can activate the parallax separately for live mode and playback. When you activate the parallax in live mode, you'll see the corresponding information on the screen instead of panorama axis settings. According to the slider's position, the head will be always rotated towards your target. If you enable the parallax for playback, the camera will track the subject during restoring presets from memory banks, overwriting the stored data and axis settings for the pan axis. To turn off the parallax feature, change the settings for live mode and playback accordingly. For more details about using the Kairos panel and advanced configuration, download the user manual from slidecamera.com.